link now that I fished at in my Google Maps fishing video a couple videos ago. Uh, when I was here, fishing was tough, but I did see a lot of small fish, which gave me a good idea. So I'm going to try to work up the food chain a bit today. Um, I'm going to be fishing a tiny, tiny little size, I think it's a size 8 hook, with some live worms. And once I catch one of those little, hopefully it's a mine cichlid or a bluegill or something usable for bait, I'll put them out on a bigger hook and I'll see if I can grab something a little bit larger, maybe a nice uh, peacock bass, mine cichlid, we'll see. So that's the goal for today, so step one is going to be to catch some bait. Alright, so step one, worm on the hook, tiny hook and a small little uh, split shot just to help with casting a little bit and keep it on the bottom. And we'll see if we could grab one of these little guys out of here. So there's already fish interested, already had a couple bites. Just gonna get, it's gonna be a challenge to get those guys actually on the hook. That's always the problem when you're fishing for little fish. The hook usually ends up being too big and they can't fit it in its mouth. So there's, I think that's a little mine cichlid. Oh, did I get him? Nope. They're biting it. I mean, you could, you could see the rod tip. I just gotta get one of the, just gotta get one of them to uh, fit the hook in its mouth. Oh, I got him. There we go. So that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. So little, little baby mine cichlid. Couple inches, good size to use for bait. If you if you watch some of my uh, other canal fishing videos when I use live shiners, the shiners are probably about this size. So this should work out pretty well. So let's give it a shot. Let me get him, get my big rod set up, put him out on the bigger hook. All right, so we got the mine cichlid all hooked up, a little bit larger hook through the back. And let's see if we can grab something a little bit larger out of here. All right, there's a lot more coverage here than there was last time. Peacock already picked it up. Let me give it a second so I don't pull it out of its mouth. That was fast. All right, set the hook. Here we go, fish on. That was fast. All right. Tighten up the drag a second. There we go. As soon as that cichlid hit the water, that peacock took it. Picked it up quick. Didn't get a good glimpse of it. Seemed like a decent size. Nice colors on him. So, he's, he's trying to run. Just he picked up all the seaweed here, which is tiring him out a lot more than it's actually helping him. See if I could pull him up here. Grab my gripper. These things, they help me out so much. It's so much easier to land fish, especially from an elevated surface like this. Get a little bit closer. Come here, dude. I don't, know, I don't even know if I need this. Come here, open your mouth, dude. There we go. All right. That is a nice peacock. All right. So, been here for probably, I don't even know, less than 10 minutes. Got that cichlid pretty quick. And got this nice peacock. Literally, probably five seconds after. Got a little hump. 
shouldn't have one. I think those are spawning humps and it's basically late September, but nice fish. So challenge is a success. We'll get this guy back in the water and see if we could pick up anything else. All right, back to my small rod with the worm. Let's see if we can get some more bait. All right, this one's smaller than the last one. But we got bait number two, and it is another little lion cichlid. Ooh, just fell off the hook. But let's get this guy hooked up and we'll give it a shot. And fish on. There we go. Took him a couple minutes to commit to it. Alright, we're gonna try to just gonna try to muscle this guy up here. If he pops, he pops. He did not pop. Alright. Second mine cichlid, second peacock bass. Alright. Gonna get this guy back. See if I can go for number three. This guy's got some fight in him left. All right, just caught mine cichlid number three. This one's probably the biggest one of the day, but we'll get this guy on to the bigger hook and see if we could get another another uh, peacock. All right, I think that guard just took the mine cichlid, so now. I've only ever caught one gar before, and I know you gotta give them a lot of time to get a lot of time to get the hook in their mouth. Alright, that fish had enough time. Alright, here we go, ready for the hook set. Let me just double check my drag. Should be pretty good. And let's go. Not putting up much of a fight so far. He barely put up a fight at all. Hope he doesn't snap my line. Pull this guy up here. Ooh, alright, he did snap my line. Alright. Well, lost a gar, but. We got some sharp teeth. You see. Yep, just cut the line. Oh well. Let's see if we can get another Mayan. Alright. Next Mayan cichlid in the books. Let's get this guy on a hook and see if we can get something else. Oh, I think I'm getting a hit. I did get a hit. I just lost my fish. Time to catch another one. So catching this bait is actually super, super easy. Basically, as soon as that little worm hits the water, there's a group of mine cichlids all over it. So now it's just time to see if we can get more of those bigger fish to bite. Did I get a fish that quick? Wow. Okay, that was quick. And this one's a cannibal. So using that little cichlid for bait, we got a bigger cichlid. You could still see, you could still see that cichlid tail sticking out of his mouth. So actually, I'm going to see see if I could reuse this bait one more time. All right. So that's something a little bit different. Alright, this guy's... Actually, what is this thing? Alright, this is... I am not sure. It might be a new species for me. Looks... I don't even know. It looks like a sunfish and a cichlid. So I don't know if it's a tilapia, maybe? 
might be a blue spot, uh, not a blue, just a regular blue tilapia. But, I don't know, I'll take a picture and I'll see if I could find out what this thing is later. Another fish, mine cichlid, this one's a little bit bigger than the baits that I've been using, so I think I'm gonna let this guy go. There we go, another good sized little bait, mine cichlid. And this might be the last one that I try. I'm getting kinda hungry, it's lunchtime. So I'll put this guy out, see if we can get one last big size fish. All right, turned my camera on a little bit late, but a guard just took my last mine stick that I was planning on having. So I'll give him a little while, and we'll see if I can grab him. All right, All right let's hit the hook. And there we go. All right, this one's pulling a little bit better than the last one. Come here, dude. A little better prepared this time to land him. At least I hope. You're not going to open your mouth, are you, dude? There we go. Didn't even need that. Gripper. All right, my second ever gar. Nice fish, I don't know, maybe 24, 28 inches. Such a cool looking fish. They're so different than almost anything else. But... Sure he's not going to open his mouth, or otherwise I would love to show you some of these teeth, how he snapped my line last time, but anyway, so I'm going to try to get my hook back from this guy, I will let him go, and then I will come back with a quick wrap up, alright, overall I'm pretty happy with today. All right, overall, successful day. All right, forgot how many of those little mines I caught. It was probably about five or six, and I caught eight fish on every single one, except for one, well, two. So, got two peacocks, I caught one gar, one mine cichlid, uh, lost a gar that broke me off, and then I missed one hit where the fish just stole the bait and ran. But overall, successful day, right? Uh, pretty easy fishing, just gotta get a couple worms, small hooks, Get you some small bait and my favorite part about doing this as opposed to buying live bait uh, one way cheaper a dozen shiners is going to be about eight bucks when here uh, you get 30 worms for three dollars at walmart you can catch your own and not only that but the bait that you catch at the same body of water that you're fishing in lasts so much longer because the fish are used to the water they're used to the oxygen levels they're used to the temperature so it's a lot more hardy and going along with that the fish that are eating those small fish, they're a lot used to it. So the fish in here, they're used to eating little mine cichlids because that's what's available here. If you throw a shiner or a minnow in there, something that's not, uh, I guess, not abundant in this body of water, sometimes the fish might be a little bit uh, more afraid to bite because it's something they're not used to. So overall, solid day. I definitely recommend uh, trying to work your way up the food chain if you can, it's a lot of fun and you get to learn a thing or two about kind of what, what's in these waters and what the fish are eating. eating. All right, so I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time.